For the show, I've made a, a film that was shot here at Weissling, um, and I have two large billboards which are outside, I guess designed to be in conversation with the film, but also perhaps for people who might not come in to see the film, they ask some questions of drivers out on the road, potentially commuters out on the road, um, that are the same kinds of conversations I guess I'm having in the film. So for the project, I was invited to uh, come to Weising, um, it's the 30th anniversary year, and to look and be in the archive, um, to try to make a work in response to the archive. Um, and I guess my starting point was finding myself in the archive and um, looking at objects, files, going through paperwork, looking at the space itself. Um, and what I started to realise very quickly was that it became a space for me to want to just sit and look through the window at my desk and I began to write. Condensating window, thread pile, Meccano bolted loft, full to itself, wound with tightly folded stories, spines and edges of stuttering stacked casings of text, manager's manual to fast thinking, Subtitle, of what? 35mm slides, of frames and shapes and shadows. Daylight fading, tracing through grey, leaf-blown sky. Fly suspended as box file contents. On a spider string, singular web line, swings to the rhythm of draft streams. Two boxes say, a mock-up. Another says, fragments. So I sit with the mock-up and the fragments, and my head still waiting for the chasm that needs to fall sharply into somewhere dark, or somewhere cold, or somewhere palpably wet, or is it dusted and dry? Somewhere plants can't grow, but ideas can. A germination as stomach tightens, chest relaxes, shifting synapses, or is it something different for you? I must stand and walk or sit and stare, is it the same for you? The title came for me from this idea of what it means to be idle, um, but also what that means in terms of wildness. So um, there's something quite, for me, quite wild and crazy about doing nothing. And that's probably because I've been so used to doing lots of things and being active and um, I probably had many, many messages throughout my life about being busy. And so um, there's something kind of wild and a bit crazy about being still and doing nothing. Um, and so that was the thinking around the, the idea of Idlewild. And of course it was a everything but the girl song um, that I uh, listened to um, many years ago. And, uh, and there's something about naming. There's something about naming something. So the, they call it Idlewild is... Um, is talking about how it was outside of me before and now it's not. Now it's part of what I understand and it's part of what I experience. And the film is part of that process of, of understanding. So it was named by somebody else before and now I kind of, I own it and I get it and I understand it. So the film, I guess, feels for me quite photographic. There is landscape, there are lots of colours, there are lots of details. Light is a consideration and I work with light a, a quite a lot across the film. And then in terms of the language that's used in the film, the script, I suppose, moves from sections of poetic text or poetry to um, parts of prose that might be appropriated prose. For example, there's some text from James Joyce, um, there's some text from Mary Oliver, from Audrey Lord. Um, and then it might move into song. So there's a section um, uh, called Lazy Bones that I'm singing, and then later on it comes again as a reprise um, with a different kind of sound effect on it, um, which hopefully does something else to, to where it is and how it works in the film. So I'm playing around, I hope, with form all the way through, um, whether that's visually or whether that's in terms of language um, and text, but also in terms of these multiple voices that come together and the different registers of the voice, so the poetic um, rendering of text and then the, the singing of, of text. Lazy bones, sleeping in the sun When you're gonna get your day's work done You can get your day's work done 
Sleeping in the noonday sun Lazy bones Laying in the shade How you gonna get your cornmeal made? You can get no cornmeal made Sleeping in that evening shade